Hi, my name is Brijesh Chaudhary and you're watching the Quantum Guru. I have started a new series of uh, a challenging problem from ITJ. So here uh, I've taken a question from ITJ uh, Advanced 2016 paper 2. The question uh, is there are two thin circular disks mass M and 4M and they have radii A and 2A uh, residually fixed by a massless rigid rod of length uh, uh, root 24A through their centers. The assembly is laid on a firm and flat surface and set rolling without slipping on the surface so that the angular speed about the axis of the rod is omega. The angular momentum of the entire assembly about the point O is L and which of the following statement is R2. So there are four options and uh, uh, one option talk about the kinematics and the other three options talk about the dynamics about the angular momentum. And uh, in this video I will focus about the kinematics of the problem, uh, basically about the relationship between the two angular velocity that this rigid body will have. So, as explained in the uh, question, these are the two disks and this has a mass 4m and this has a mass m and they are connected by a rigid rod, a massless rod and this has a length square root of 24a and this is also a square root of 24a and it is placed on a rigid flat horizontal surface and these radii, this ra radius of this disk is uh, a and the radius of this disk is, this radius is 2a. So, this radius is 2a, like this is 2a. So, everything is explained, now let me set it rolling. So, it is rolling like this and it is rolling without slipping. Uh, it means the, there is no relative velocity between the point of contact and the surface. So, because surface at rest, the point of contact are also at rest. And uh, if you look about this rotation, so it is rotating about this as it is given the question about this angular velocity omega. So, this whole assembly is rotating about this axis. I can show the axis like this. This is the axis of this assembly. And about this axis, this whole assembly is rotating uh, with angular velocity omega. And if we uh, show the direction of the omega, and that direction will be from the right hand rule. And it will be in the sense of rotation. If I curl the right hand fingers in the direction of uh, rotation the thumb will give the direction uh, of the angular velocity. So, there is one angular velocity that is the uh, angular velocity of this rigid body about its axis and let us see again and it is moving like this and if I look the axis this axis is moving like this this axis is moving like this moving like this and if I can mark few points on the axis like uh, I am marking this one point of the axis this is one point and this is another point. So, and if I look the just the, the axis is rotating like this, like this. So, if I just look the motion of uh, this point of axis, this is moving in this horizontal circle. This is also moving in this horizontal circle. And now, for that matter, any point on the axis moving on a horizontal circle, and the center of all circles lie on this vertical line that is the z axis. So, any point of the axis is moving horizontal circle uh, whose center is lying on the on this axis. This is the z axis as it is given in the question. So, we can say that uh, the axis is rotating, axis is performing pure rotation and its axis of rotation is the z axis. And the angular velocity about this axis is omega z. And there is this angular velocity of the whole rigid body about this axis and about this axis the assembly is rotating and the axis is rotating about this z axis. So, they are dual motion. So, we have to first of all kinematically we have to find the relationship between the angular velocity of this angular velocity and this angular velocity that is what we have to find. So, now let us look at this and uh, some few mathematical part. The radius of this is uh, a. This length is this not actually touching, but if I can extend this and it will touch to the ground. And this length is also root 24a, and this length is also root 24a. And uh, this is uh, 2a. So if I take, uh, if I call this point as a O, and this has a b, this has a a, this has a b, and this has a b dash. So distance from O to the point of contact of this disk with the ground is say OB. So, on calculation you will get that to be 10A. Uh, that will be uh, 2 into root 24A and that is a 2A and using Pythagoras theorem. So, distance from here to here is uh, 10A. And now what I want to do, 
I just want to put some ink over it so that I can show the path of the point of the periphery. So I have put ink over it and now let's get it rolling. So suppose this is the point I mark on the table point of the periphery and uh, this point I had named as a B dash and the center the <clears throat> point in contact with the ground of the axle is somewhere here. So this point is O and uh, we decided that the length OB dash is uh, 10 and it is rotating about this axis just a minute uh, it got disturbed okay no problem so in one rotation it will uh, rotate 2 pi r uh, with r is the radius but it is a 2 way so i am giving it a one rotation this is a one rotation one rotation one rotation one rotation one rotation completed so in this one rotation it started from here and it it rotated like this and it came up to here it rotated angle theta this is uh, rolling without slipping so in one rotation it is rolling without slipping on a uh, on a surface flat surface so the point this point will move about a uh, equal to length 2 pi r and this r is 2a so this length should be this l should be how much 2 pi into 2a and this ob dash is equal to ob dash is equal to 10a so how much angle it has rotated in uh, radian so the angle it has rotated in radian is l by l by radius that is a 10a and if we put value of l that is a 4 pi a divided by 10a so that would be 2 pi by 5 radian and it is rotating about this axis angular velocity omega it took just one complete rotation so the time taken time taken can be written as 2 pi by 2 pi by omega in the same time this point b dash that is a point in contact with the ground has moved angle theta and uh, about this axis the angular velocity of the whole body is omega z so this omega z can be written as uh, this omega z can be written as angle rotated divided by time and value of theta we can write from here 2 pi by 5 and value of t we can write 2 pi by omega so 2 pi and 2 pi will get cancelled so we will have omega z is equal to omega by 5 now let's solve the same problem from another way so here is the whole assembly and this is the axis of the assembly uh, o is a point of the axis uh, in contact with the ground which is always at rest a is the center of the smaller disc smaller disc has a radius a and a dash is a point of the smaller disc in contact with the ground and uh, b is the center of the bigger disc and the uh, bigger disc has a radius 2a and b dash is the point of the bigger disc in contact with the ground and now if we look any point on the axis except o which is obviously at rest any other point on the axis is moving in a horizontal circle and the centers of all circles uh, is on the z-axis so we can see that we can say that any point on the axis of the rod axis of this assembly is uh, doing pure rotational motion and whose axis of rotation is the z-axis so z so this whole assembly uh, for this whole assembly all the point of the axis is uh, doing pure rotational motion about the z-axis and let's assume that the angular velocity about this z-axis is this z-axis about the angular velocity is omega z like this and i can show the 
angular velocity vector omega z vector so omega z vector will be like this along z direction this is the omega z vector like this and some geometrical thing in the question something some things are given like uh, in the question o is given o is given to be uh, root 24a and the same thing is ab ab is also root 24a so i am not showing the diagram because i don't want to crowd the diagram and so ob is the double of o a so ob is equal to twice of uh, root 24a and uh, bb dash bb dash is obviously a uh, 2a that is shown in the diagram so ob dash ob dash we can calculate uh, from the pythagoras theorem uh, in this triangle in this triangle in this right angle triangle we can calculate uh, ob dash is square of ob plus square of bb dash and the overall square root so if we simplify these thing we will get ob dash equal to 10 a so ob dash will get 10 a and then uh, this angle that we have shown theta we can also get that sine theta sine theta from this diagram we can get sine theta is equal to uh, bb dash upon ob dash bb dash is 2a and ob dash is 10a so 2a by 10a is equal to 1 by 5 and that we will use and also uh, cos theta will also be used so cos theta will be in the bigger right angle triangle ob b dash cos theta is ob upon ob dash and ob is equal to 2 root 24a and uh, ob dash is 10a so on simplification that we will get this will be root 25 5. Uh, now as i explained that uh, any point on the axis will move in a circle horizontal circle and the center will lie on the on the z axis so let's look the path of the point b point b which is the center of the bigger uh, disc this will move in a circle and let's see let's see that the, the radius of that circle is say r and if this angle is theta so will be this angle so the circle in which the point b is moving its radius is r and we can get that radius r is equal to from the geometry if you can look carefully you can get that r is equal to ob cos theta ob cos theta and the value of ob is equal to 2 root 24 uh, a and cos theta we have written root 24 by 5 so the radius of the circle of uh, b is 2 into 24 so that will be 48 a by 5 48 a by 5 and, and now i am drawing the path of b so path of b is like this so b is moving on this circular path something like this like this so the velocity of this point b would be along this direction perpendicular to the radius vector and also perpendicular to the omega z vector and this is the velocity of the point b and let me call this velocity to be vb so value of vb will be uh, vb will be r omega z so that vb is going to be 48 a by 5 into omega z so this is my equation one and now i want to find this vb by another way and and that way i will use the angular velocity of the axle that is given the question so now i am erasing the circular path of b and also the velocity of b and looking to find velocity of b by some other so this is a, a rigid body and doing uh, two types of rotation one rotation is the rotation of the axle if i extend the axle this is the axle the axis of this whole assembly is rotating uniformly with an angular velocity omega uh, like this as it is given in the question and if you draw this angular velocity vector using the right hand rule so this direction of this omega would be along the axis and towards the uh, origin so this is the omega vector like this and uh, this body is performing two types of rotation one rotation is the rotation of the axis and other rotation is rotation about the axis so the net angular velocity of any point uh, would be omega net would be angular velocity about the axis 
that is the uh, omega vector plus angular velocity of the axis that is the omega z vector. So uh, the resultant of these two I can show at the point B itself. So I am putting the tail of omega z vector at point B itself. So if I put the tail of omega z vector at point B itself, so that will be like this. This is omega z vector. And resultant angular velocity is the vector sum of omega and omega z. I'm just extending the omega z vector line. So obviously omega z is along the vertical line. So this is a vertical line. So this angle is theta. And this uh, BB dash line I'm also extending. So this BB dash if I extend, so that would be like this. So obviously this angle is also theta. And now I can make component of omega z along the axis and perpendicular to the axis. The component of omega z along the axis and perpendicular to axis would be like this. This is perpendicular to axis and uh, this is along the axis. And these components would be, this would be omega z cos theta and that would be omega z sin theta. And now I'm further simplifying it. And uh, in the next diagram, so here uh, we have uh, rearrange this angular velocity term. So the net angular velocity along the axis is omega minus omega z sin theta towards O. And the component of uh, omega net omega perpendicular to the axis is omega z cos theta. And using this, we want to find the net velocity of B uh, by another method. We know that uh, uh, any body of a rigid body can be found, any, velo any velocity of a, a point of a rigid body can be found that omega cross R. And omega is the obviously the omega net, and r is the r is the position vector, and this velocity is obviously with respect to ground, and uh, i.e. the velocity of a point which is at rest. And b dash is a point of the bigger disc which is in contact with the ground, and the ground is at rest. There is no slipping between ground and uh, this whole assembly, so it means the net velocity of b dash is also zero. So we are looking from B dash, that is a point at rest to B. So the position vector of B with respect to point at rest B dash would be like this. Like this. So this is our R, R vector. And omega vector uh, is the vector sum of omega minus omega z sin theta and omega z cos theta. And we want to do directly without any uh, much complication. So this is our R vector. Is our, our r vector. So if we do the cross product of this omega net, which is obviously a sum of omega z cos theta and omega minus omega z cos theta. So with omega z cos theta, the cross product would be zero. Why zero? Because they are in the same direction. And with omega minus omega z sin theta, the cross product will be perpendicular to both r and omega minus omega z sin theta. And that will come out to be in this direction, Eb. So that will be VB and that will be here like this, like we had calculated by some other way. And obviously this is just uh, already 90 degree omega minus omega z sine theta and this R vector. So the magnitude of VB we can simply write omega minus omega z sine theta multiplied by the magnitude of R that is 2A. So this is a VB and this we have obtained by equation 2. Now we will equate equation 1 and equation 2 and then we will have relationship between omega and omega z. So you can write it omega minus omega z sine theta into 2a is equal to 48a by 5 uh, omega z. So this 2a and this will cancel, we will get only 24 and omega minus omega z sine theta we can write uh, sine theta we had written here 1 by 5 so that would be by 5 and this 5 will come here so multiply 5 here and that would be 24 omega z so we have 5 omega minus omega z is equal to 24 omega z means 25 omega z is equal to omega so we have got omega z is equal to omega by 5 by another method